State Representative Randy Fine filed a bill Wednesday to ban critical race theory in Florida. In response to Marcano's case, students living on campus and other nearby housing want to make a change. The 22-year-old woman disappeared while on a trip exploring with her fiancé, Brian Laundrie, according to the FBI in Denver. The FBI stated that the official cause of death is waiting for a final report. UCF screened their first ever Latin American Latinx Film Festival. The multi-day festival began Thursday as part of the Hispanic Heritage Month. Apart from not having Wi-Fi, UCF may be faced with limiting their water usage. The Orlando Utilities Commission is urging residents to cut down on how much water they use. Classes are back in session at the Visual Arts Building after being shut down because of a power outage. According to the CDC website, last flu season, over 380,000 Americans were hospitalized. The CDC says it is safe to receive the COVID vaccine with a flu shot. The jurors say they want to know who fired first, Lloyd or Clinton. A medical examiner who took the stance before says Clinton could have survived if it was not for the final shot to the neck by Lloyd. A new resource is now available for students and staff conducting research at UCF. The infrastructure bill is at standstill in the House of Representatives. UCF earned the National Certification Seal of Excellencia this past Friday. The UCF baseball team is going into the week with a walk-off series win against the UNF Ospreys. UCF football suffered a 56-21 loss against number 3 ranked Cincinnati on Saturday. The Bearcats improved to 6-0 on the season and jumped up to the number 2 ranking in the AP Top 25 polls.